Hey there, so thanks for requesting um, some more information about uh, Funky Junk number 52 here. I hadn't got round to doing an official demo on it, so I'm just going to do this uh, very quick um, smartphone room mic demo. And, um, So that's nice. And then uh, take the tone right down, series one. So yeah, um, parallel with the tone down. Um, you've got very high grade hardware on this one uh, and you've got string through capability as well at the bridge um, it's a funky junk nothing is perfect it's all you know put together from um, recycled parts um, and yeah but it plays very nicely nice low action it's uh, 1.5 millimeters at the 12th fret great supplier in town it's just got absolutely hundreds of different types of, of caps that are left over from the days of yore um, and I have bought a whole bunch and these ones these are beautiful just love them you get big thunderous lows you know Dub City When, you, when you've got the tone rolled off in its series, you know, and then you've got parallel with the tone up, you've got that nice sort of glassier sound, and then with the in series, more throaty, you know, you know. Uh, it's really great um, that cap is the capacitor um, yeah so that's it um, one th interesting thing about this um, I believe this is an Orion neck from the 90s early 90s and uh, if you look at it you'll see that the dots are aligned through between the A and D string of course it's not absolutely perfect because this neck was not made for this body, um, but it's pretty damn good. The alignment is quite good. You've got plenty of, I, you know, if if I was building a base, I I and and I was making the pocket to fit it perfectly, it would just like maybe by a 
couple of degrees, maybe just change the angle of the neck very, very slightly, but it's negligible. Um, but they made these necks with more real estate on the G-string side. Um, so you'll see that the G-string side has more real estate. And the reason for that is so that your, your, your fingers don't slip off when you're doing vibrato or something. So this is an interesting um, uh, design. Very practical because when you think about it, you know, G string side, you could on some some instruments if it's too close to the edge, you can slip you can slip off the edge of the fretboard, which is not very good, is it? Of course, you don't need that on the E string side because of the way your hand is positioned. Of course, you're naturally going to there's going to be more pressure. Um, forcing the string down towards the G-string side anyway, so you don't need that um, extra real estate on that side. So it's very practical. Um, the alignment through the pickups, even though, um, you know, I did it as best as I could. I put the bridge in the best position I think I could um, to make the alignment through the pickups quite accurate, you know, so they're going through between the poles. Um, it's a little bit difficult to do, but all in all, it's come out very nice, I think. Um, it's definitely one of my favorites in terms of the P bases that I've done. So there you go, that's it. The only thing about this is it's a bit heavy, right? But um, if you don't, if you, you know, if you're no spring chicken and you've got a bit of, you know, stamina, it's no problem, you know. Um, it's a good body, this is um, very solid construction um, yeah just sounds really good I, I think as well because the wood is quite dense so uh, there you go that'll do it I hope you like it cheers for watching and for those of you who are watching just out of and, and you're interested in getting your own funky junk um, you can follow the link below to my funky junk page I'm kind of busy right now I've got um, I've got one one custom order to finish and another one to start um, in August. Um, but I might be able to take on another one in August if, if any of you are interested. Um, otherwise, I'll probably start building a stock one anyway uh, because I, I'm just really, really thankful that people like, the, like what I do. Um, really, really pleased about that. Um, you know. Oh, the other thing about this is that I've cut the nut so that um, so that it, it it's low. The strings sit low in the nut so that at the uh, lower end of the neck you've got very nice, comfortable. You know, it doesn't feel tight down there. You know what I mean? Like some some instruments, it feels really tight and sort of. It gets easier to play further up the neck, but it feels really tight down down there at the first fret, second fret, third fret. So that's that's a point to consider. Um, and what else? I just want to show you actually the truss as well, um, because um, right now it's optimal position, I think. But if I tighten it up any more, um, you'll see that uh, it starts to choke out down down below right so that means that the neck is very healthy it's got lots of lots of um, life left in it yet um, so you can you can rely on it you know it's not gonna go it's not gonna go uh, bad anytime soon it should be years left in it yet you know um, so yeah, that'll do it. Thanks again for watching. And uh, this is probably sold, uh, for those of you who are watching, it's probably sold. I've made this really for a customer who's inquiring about it, but I thought I might as well document it as well um, for everybody who, for anybody who's interested. Um, it may be sold. So there you go. All right, cheers guys. See you again soon.